Welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm, and it's been a heck of a couple of weeks here on the farm. Mr. Daydream and I both got sick. I'm pretty sure I brought it home to him, and it put us out of commission for several, several days, um, for quite a few days actually. And so we're just kind of getting over it, still have some of that remnants left of it. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been very interesting around here. So I feel like I need to like fumigate my house right now. Um, and that's probably going to be on the list. Not to fumigate it, but really to give it a good deep clean. But um, yeah, it's just been kind of crazy. So haven't been able to do a whole lot. Just my energy level has not been um, back at the at full capacity. Um I just hadn't had any motivation to do anything really. I just it's it has just taken a lot out of me. So this morning I went out to, into the flower field and oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus. Um yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> yeah, I think my only saving grace is is that I'm not gonna plant uh, my cool season flowers in that area this year or I'd probably be like wanting to throw up right now because it's so just terrible it's so overgrown um, so I do want to get a fall garden planted um, for our vegetables so we've got to figure that out but I, I think we have a little bit of a plan I'm gonna go and pull up some of the black fabric and I'll show you some of that in a little bit um, I'm gonna go pull up some of that and then let Mr. Daydream get in there with his tractor go around Grimace. Um, if you don't know who Grimace is, <laughs> Grimace is um, my Rosella uh, hibiscus that I planted and I didn't know what I was planting and now I have this huge thing in the middle of the fields, but it's fine. Um, and I'm going to let the loofahs finish up, but the rest of it, I'm just letting it go. I did make a decision last week. Um, I had been on the fence about it, y'all. I think we have talked about this. Like, I really wanted to do a fall offering of subscriptions and um, just to get a little bit more um, money in my budget to move forward for 2023. But after getting this crud, um, I just don't, I, I'm not going to push it. Um, I need to concentrate on getting my health back. Uh, into a better place so you know I haven't been able to walk like I normally do every day um, or work out or do any of those things um, that help me mentally and physically uh, and it so I, I need to focus back on it so I'm not gonna do any fall subscriptions I'm gonna take it easy and I'm gonna be starting to build the raised guard the raised um, uh, beds see the raised beds for uh, my cool flowers so I am going to do my fall vegetables but I'm not going to do as many as I did last year I'm going to cut back some this year um, just so I can concentrate on my flowers a little bit more but I do need to get some things started and I'm going to get those started today but let me show you what I'm going to do so Brussels sprouts broccoli spinach um, I'm gonna attempt onions again uh, cabbage celery didn't do too well with celery last year oh I'm missing my beets I need to go get the beets um, and squash and so that's gonna be I'm gonna do the winter squash the butternut and the spaghetti and we're gonna see what happens so those I'm gonna get started today um, or I'm going to try to get a few of them started today, at the very least. All right, so remember I told you, it's not pretty. And y'all, this is just like two weeks of me not being out here. I mean, it is insane how fast these weeds grow and how just out of control things get. I mean, look at this. I've got impatience that are reseeding themselves. Um, Scrimmis. I'm just going to keep letting her grow. I mean, you can't even see down the walkways. It is that bad. It is that bad. So the loofahs, 
they're getting close to hopefully finishing up. I mean, look at this. Still got a few peppers trying to live over there, but not really concerned about those. Um, I mean, all of this is just grown up. Y'all, this is literally two weeks, two and a half weeks of neglect, and this is just as this is just how fast it gets out of control. So, this is why I'm not really worrying about it. Um, yeah, so, saying goodbye to all of this. And just letting it go. I mean, <laughs> truthfully, I've already let it go. So, now we just got to get in here and clean all of this up so that I can get a fall veggie garden in here. And again, I'm just going to do one row and we'll be fine. All right, we're in the stem shed. You've seen the field. Not worrying about it. Just need to get one row cleaned up and workable so that we can get our fall veggies in there. Um, but I need to get the seed started. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both of my soil blocks this time. Um, this is my bigger soil block. Ordered this online. Um, I'm going to use this for my uh, squash and maybe maybe the onion i don't know or the beets i don't know i'm just gonna play it by ear and then of course i'm gonna use my trusty smaller uh soil blocker i do have a tray like this so i had ordered these online um i got a pretty decent deal on them and i do like them because i can fit eight of these larger soil blocks on one and i will tell you what happens is especially this time of the year when i've got to when i've got to get my veggies started and then i've got to sort my cool season flowers i don't have a whole lot of room um i've got two um two racks and i have grow lights and i only have mats on a couple of them and so i've got to be very conscious of how much space i'm taking up because i do have a lot of seeds that i need to get started so that is one of the reasons why I do like soil blocking versus using solo cups or smaller pots. Now, I do use those in some instances, but I do try, um, for the most part, to stick to these trays. So I have these. I have, I thought I had another one out. Um, I have some that look like cafeteria trays. I have some other bigger ones that I bought at a thrift store. So... Um, you can even buy, they have the, the styrofoam ones that are like half this size. Um, I saw some, of the, saw, saw some of those at a dollar store. So those can work. So my, my goal is, is to get as many on a tray as possible so that I can have, um, make better use of my space. Uh, so the only thing you really need other than your soil blocker, if you're using that and a tray, uh, another dish pan came from the dollar store I use a potato masher to mix with and this is an old uh, measuring cup that I bought at a thrift store and I've had it for probably 10 years so seed starting mix I've tried probably a little bit of everything I don't find that one works more be works better than the other now some people will argue that um, I have mixed my own using perlite and peat moss and compost uh, manure um, I've used that I have used um, big box stores pro starting mix it hasn't really made a difference I have not seen like this huge difference that says oh I must go buy this so I I've tried I have ordered um, from out of state um, and had and use some of those things some of those that the these compost wasn't really a big deal um wasn't really a big difference so right now what i have is um we were at a big box store and they had some pro mix organic seed starting um soil on clearance so i bought it and that is what i used um i've used this year so all you have to do it's this is not very difficult either let me just be real clear this is just really really easy so let me show you what we're gonna do all right <coughs> so I just poured three of these into my container 
this is just rainwater. It's just some containers I had that I used to fill up from my um, from where we catch our rainwater. And I just do three to one. So I did three of these cups in here. I'm going to add one water. And that's going to be give or take. And then I'm just going to mix it. I mean, it's not... And I probably, I may need a little more, and that's, I'm just going to add. It's like cooking. Some people like it soaking wet, um, so that when you pick it up and squeeze it, the water runs. I don't get mine that wet. But I need it to be wet enough that um, it's going to hold together when I use my soil blocker. So, I'm going to do one real quick and just show you. So, that was one. Again, I'm sure some folks out there are like, oh my God, she's not measuring. Oh my God, no, I'm not. So, the only thing bad about this stuff is it has a lot of sticks and stuff in it. Um, so, I don't know. I probably wouldn't pay full price for this stuff. But, it gets the job done. So, See that? Duh. A little bit more. So that was more like two of these to three of the of the soil on it. That's it. That's all I've done. That's all you do to mix it. Easy. Look, when I first started, I overthought this so much. Oh, it was unbelievable. Now it's like, let me just throw this in here. So then you just simply take, in fact, let me get a smaller one first. You just take your seed, your seed, uh uh, your soil blocker, you push it in, and just press down. Just press down, and you're just trying to fill it up. That's it. And then I give it a little squeeze on the bottom. And then. <gasps> Ta-da! That's it. It is that easy. Do not make it any more complicated in your mind than you need to. Just do it. It's not that difficult. Same thing with the big one. This one I'm still working with because I don't feel like I've mastered it as much. So, and I do find it's a little bit harder um, to manipulate. So, let's just pretend like we've got this thing full, which we don't. One more swipe across the bottom. A little wiggle for luck. And then... There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! And then the seed goes down in each one. And that's it. So, I can get 12 of the big ones on here. And I think I can get 100... Um, five of these, which are 20 on the, on, I think it's five. I'm almost sure it's five. So I can get a hundred seeds on one tray or eight of, uh, 12 of my big seeds. So that's what I'm going to be out here working on. So I'm going to get all of these started and fingers crossed we get germination. And in a couple of months we have fall veggies. Well, I'm going to get all of these seeds started or what I can. I'm already kind of feeling a little tired right now, so um, maybe we'll get a whole lot done. But thanks for hanging in there with me today. Um, always appreciate you being here. Until we meet again, my friends, I hope you're turning all your daydreams into a reality. <laughs>